Hello, welcome to another Cleave Tech Tech Tip. Now today we're going to talk controllers. I've not mentioned the subject of controllers before, but it's a very, very important subject as this is what actually makes your car move. You're in control of your controller. If you have a problem in the race, there's a saying that it's probably something to do with a nut on the controller. So today we're going to find out. So we're starting with a look at a simple Palmer Turbo controller, but it has been converted into an electronic controller, adding a single transistor. You can see which transistor it uses here, but I'll put the details in the description of the video. But it's been converted using the circuit that's on the BSCRA website. Again, I'll put a link to the BSCRA website and the particular page about controller circuits, etc. So it's been converted with that many, a few years ago. I used to use one like this for many, many years until I developed my own circuit board and my own additions to it. But this controller belongs to somebody else. It's got one of my very old boards in it from quite a while ago, as you can see. But it just generally wants a bit of a service and maybe some upgrades with some of the more modern features that we have on controllers. So over the series of the next few videos, we're going to have a look at some of the things we're going to be doing to this controller to improve it, service it and make it feel much nicer again to drive. So we're going to start by removing the plastic handle. It all looks okay, there's no cracks or chips or broken parts of the plastic handle but we'll have a closer look before we put that back together. So we'll unscrew that and have a look at the condition of it inside. So move the plastic parts aside and let's have a look at what we've got. So now the cover's off, we can just have a closer look at what's inside. We've got this wiper arm here, part of the controller here. A wiper arm goes onto the board and that's what picks up the different resistances to control the speed of your car. We have a brake here. So this part here comes back and it hits the brake stop there, the brake contact. And then this is the full power contact over this side. So as you squeeze your trigger fully, then this part here should hit the full power contact. And as you let go, this part here should hit the brake contact. Also, when I'm squeezing it, it doesn't feel very nice. It feels a little bit notchy. This bit's fairly smooth and it's fairly smooth just on the brake bit. But as it goes from brake to power, there's a little bit of a notch and I don't know whether you can see it close up in the video. Can you see, watch the wiper. So this bit here, watch it as it sort of goes over this little notchy bit just there and it jumps and drops down again. You can see, there we go. Show it from that angle. You can see it moving and dropping down a bit. It's not a very smooth action. So I'm going to need to clean the board a little bit, get rid of this little burnt area here make it run nice and smoothly across the board again. Now because this circuit board doesn't have any other sort of protective layers on it like solder masks and fancy printing etc I'm going to take a little fine wire brush and I'm just going to give it a going over with a wire brush just to remove any of the deposits and dirt and muck that's around the circuit board itself. So give it a good wipe off with that first of all. Then I'm going to take a normal toothbrush, just a, a, an old toothbrush like this, and I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of lighter fluid. You've seen this in a previous video, but I'll put a link in the description. Some lighter fluid, just put that on the circuit board and give it a little scrub like that, just to clean it out, just to clean it up and get rid of all the dirt and the muck that was on that circuit board that's gathered over a period of time, like that. It'll also help to get rid of some of the carbon deposits as well, that have come probably from this wiper, like that. Give it a good clean off. It's amazing how dirty they can get in your slot car box and in your hands and at a slot car meeting, you know, if you've chewed your tyres near your control, you get all the tyre dust in it as well. 
and you end up with a horrible mess. So I'm starting to clean that up. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of kitchen paper, some lighter fluid and give it a good wipe all over just to get rid of the last remaining bits of mess. And you can see it's still picking up a lot of mess from the circuit board. A lot of dirt that's got ground into that circuit board over the years. Looking a bit better. It's actually ever so slightly less notchy, even though I've given it a good clean up. But to smooth that out, I'm going to take a bit of really, really fine old wet and dry. So it says it's 600 grit, but it's, it's well worn out this stuff. So it's probably not 600 grit anymore. And I'm just going to go over the area where the wiper passes over. So you can see, I'm just going to rub it over this area here, especially the bit that's got the little burnt area. I'm just going to use the wet and dry to clean it up. Not totally, not getting rid of all of the marks, but I do need to clean up where the wiper is going because I also want to check how, how the circuit board is wearing underneath, how the copper tracks are actually wearing and whether they've worn out or not underneath. Because if they start to wear through, then it could cause an issue with getting decent contact all the way through the movement range of the controller. You could end up with dead spots and your car not working correctly all the way through the movement of your trigger. So I need to give that a good clean up like that. Especially again around this edge here, I can still feel a little ridge there. So I'm just gonna carry on just rubbing that down on that edge there. There we go. And then once I've done that, a bit more lighter fluid and clean it with a rag again. And then the other thing I do to help smooth it out, there's possibly some burning on the wiper contact underneath. So what I tend to do is I tend to put the wet and dry paper under the wiper like that, hold it nice and flat against the circuit board and then just run the wiper backwards and forwards a little bit on the wet and dry and that helps to take off any high spots on the wiper and makes it run more smoothly across your circuit board. So do that a few times. Remove your wet and dry. Again, a little bit of a lighter fluid. Give it a clean up. And then let's take a closer look. So that's the wiper and the board cleaned up and it moves a lot more smoothly across there now. Let's see if we can see whether there's a bit of a step or not. You can see there's still a tiny step. You can see the wipers just moving a fraction, but it's not jolting. It's not jumping around. And that moves nicely across that wiper board. And it feels much more smooth in my hand. It feels much nicer to pull the trigger rather than being gritty and horrible. Next thing, I'm just going to clean up around this pivot point here around the trigger pivot. Just put a bit of lighter fuel in there, get my toothbrush in there, clean up around that pivot point. Notice I'm also, whilst I'm there, giving it a bit of a brush around the brake contact. Sorry, that's the full power contact on that side. So give it a bit of a clean around there. You can also clean the brake contact as well. Make sure there's no bits sitting on that. Flip it over. I'll clean the pivot on the other side. So that means that the pivot's cleaner, the trigger's cleaner, so we can actually see if there's any issues in this area on the controller. Keeping things nice and clean does help you spot issues that you might not have spotted before. And one of those issues I have actually spotted here, clearly it's probably been corrected, but I might just test it See these two tracks here? This one that runs up there and that one that runs down. There's a very small gap between them. I think somebody's run a knife between them. So maybe the circuit board, say, was joined. It wasn't etched 100% uh, 
from new and they've just done a little score across there. So I want to make sure that those are not actually joined because they shouldn't be joined. Because if they're joined, then it's almost like having one big step on your controller rather than two smaller steps. Now this pivot point, I think it's probably been upgraded from the standard Palmer Turbo pivot on the trigger in that this one has some bearings in it here. So to upgrade it to bearings, it might have had a different sort of sleeve put in, etc. It's not too bad. There is some movement in the trigger. You can see there's a little bit of movement there as I wobble the trigger around the bearings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to investigate whether that's possible to tighten this nut up a little bit and take away that movement. But I need to make sure the trigger still moves nice and smoothly. So I've tightened this nut up as tight as it will go. And I've managed to reduce some of the little movement that was there. There is still a bit of movement. But if you notice carefully, that movement is actually in the bearing itself. You can see that the bearings are actually wobbling in themselves. But it's not so essential. It's basically, you just don't want it to move around when you squeeze the trigger. Now, I'm a right-handed person, and most of these controllers are designed for right-handed people. Because as you hold it in your hand, the fingers you use to pull, you tend to pull the trigger towards into your hand. So having a look at the pivot point here, if I put my finger on here and I'm pulling it into my hand, I'm actually pivoting it about this point and pushing the wiper further into the circuit board. So any sort of wobble on the wiper is not too much of an issue or any wobble on the pivot. If you're a left-handed trigger person, you tend to pull the trigger the other way. So naturally, as you're pulling it, you'll be pivoting it and pulling the wiper away from the board. And if you've got a lot of play in the pivot here, you could end up with the wiper not actually touching the board and missing some bands of your controller and the car cutting out. So just beware if you're a right or a left-handed person as to how your trigger works. But I say most controllers are designed for right-handed people and have the wiper on this side of the controller. If you want a specific left-handed controller, then you need to have your wiper on the other side of your controller handle. It's worth mentioning at this stage that if you did have too much movement in your trigger on your pivot point and you did press too hard on this side of the trigger, let's say if you were a left-handed person and you're pulling on the trigger too hard, you can notice that as, I'm, as I move the trigger, even on this one, it does move slightly off the wiper board. You can see it just clearing the wiper board. So Perhaps I need a little bit more pressure of the wiper onto the board. So again, I'm going to use my flat nose pliers. I'm going to put them over there and I'm just going to push it, push it away from the wiper board with my, with my thumb. And then I'm just going to bend it back towards the wiper board with my pliers. Just to put a little bit more pressure of the wiper against the wiper board and now if you listen gently even if I push away from it I can still hear it rubbing against the board like that and I still get a nice smooth motion from my wiper. Thank you for staying with me to the end to find out what the problem with the nut on the controller was. We'll be coming back in the next video and looking at more things you can check on your controller to make sure it's going to be more reliable and run very nicely and not fail you in a race. Click the big C that comes up here in case you haven't subscribed. And if you have subscribed, subscribed. So if you have subscribed already, that was not easy to say. Thank you very, very much. And keep subscribing. There's plenty more videos to come soon. Bye for now.